Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I went to a little sleepy town, or I thought it was sleepy, called Henley on Thames to take some photographs. And I was just passing through, so I pulled over, got out of the car and started to walk around this town taking some pictures. I'll show you that vlog in a moment, but what this video is about is having simplicity in your photographs and everything not being exactly as technically great as maybe you had planned. Does it really matter? Often now and again, whenever I'm out and about, I'll walk into hotels and just have a look at their wall art. Obviously, I'm looking for black and white framed prints. I just use it for a little bit of inspiration. And you notice a lot of the photographs, they're very simple. For some reason, that hotel has liked those prints and bought them and put them on the walls in their hotel. And those photographs that I see in the hotels are quite inspiring. They're not absolutely brilliant, but they just look nice sitting on the wall, which comes down to simplicity. Somebody's seen a nice composition, they've taken a photograph, the hotel's liked it, they've bought it, they've put it up on the wall. And one hotel in particular I stumbled across, I walked inside and there's this beautiful collage on the wall of iconic photographs from Hollywood actors and musicians. And they were just absolutely mind-blowingly brilliant of a time that's passed. And when you get closer to these prints, not exactly tack sharp, there was a bit of grain in some of them, but who cares? They're nice photographs on the walls for people to look at. Now, I think sometimes we can beat ourselves up over our own photographs when in reality if you make a framed print of it and put it on the wall people will just go that's a nice photograph job done like this one here the racing card Do you remember the video i did of the um, local racing that was going on this print here that i made had a little tiny um carrier bag a little plastic bag um, on the side of the track i couldn't move it because there was loads of people around and i couldn't get past the wiring uh, to, to move that um, little bag, and as much as I try to get it out in the dark room, I actually like it. It's sitting there on the print, and you know, some might, someone might turn around and go, "What was that?" There's a little story behind it. Obviously, I tried to have a look, see if I could remove the bag. I couldn't. Tried to remove it in the dark room. I couldn't. I just left it in there, and it looks all right, I think. So I'll show you some of the photo walk that I did around Henley on Thames, trying to find some compositions, trying to find subjects to take photographs of, and I managed to get quite a few. I'll run that video now and let you guys watch. So I'm in a place called Henley upon Thames, which is far, far away from where I live, and I'm on my way home uh, from doing some stuff today. So uh, I thought I'd stop off and take some photographs around town and realize there ain't really much going on around town. So I'm wandering around town looking for pictures and I started to notice a few strange things happening in this town. The post boxes were painted gold, coffee shops would put out brand new chairs each day and she looks happy, and even the pubs were putting out fresh hanging baskets. And talking of pubs, there was loads of pubs. So many the locals got confused which pubs to go in, and the staff often looked for customers to top up with some strange blue beer. The houses are free, Mr Ben still has fame, and people just seem to sit on their own watching the world go by. It reminds me of that film Hot Fuzz, I'm expecting carnage to happen any minute. I'm to stop this mindless violence, pub. I got so bored I decided to go home, but I'd left the keys to my Lambo in the pub, so I thought I'd stick around and see what I could take pictures of. When you look around, I thought bloody hell, I thought the Isle of Wight was boring, but um, I don't know, maybe in the evening this place comes, comes to life, but there's not a great deal around apart from the Thames, and if you're wondering why it's on Thames, is because that's the Thames River there. I'm nowhere in London, but the Thames River stretches for miles and miles and miles and miles, hundreds of miles, all over the place. And any houses and properties around the Thames is often called something on Thames. That's where I am now, Henley on Thames. There's a bus. But walking around this town, there's like loads of little tiny pubs and quirky coffee shops. I can imagine it's quite lively. This is a Thursday afternoon, so I can imagine it's quite lively on a Saturday or weekend. Um, especially with all these pubs and stuff around. I could, I could pretty much stay here all weekend, actually, um, but I can't because my wife will go mad. And I'm often in and around hotels um, all around the UK throughout the year. And one thing I do notice about hotels, I'm going to sit down, is there's always pictures on walls in hotels. Of course there is, there's art decor everywhere in hotels. 
But the ones that really strike me are the black and white ones that I see framed up. And they're nothing particularly special. They're just photographs of detail from the local town. And that might be gates or doors, alleyways or whatever, uh, old lamps. But they look really cool. And I know that a lot of us really sort of criticise our own photography. I do, you do. Um, most people do, you know. Oh, it ain't that sharp and it ain't composed well, it ain't level, etc, etc. So, um, but when you look at these photographs in hotels, someone's taken that photograph, the hotel has bought it, and it's now on display in the hotel. And when you look at them, you think, that's a nice photograph. Don't think nothing else of it other than that's a nice photograph of wherever you are. So, I've come around Henley on Thames with the Yashica Mat 124G. I've got uh, Kodak T Max 400 film inside here and it's not exactly a sunny day it's very light overcast so it's an ideal film for this sort of stuff and i want to just mill around here and see if i can get some nice photographs that would be good enough to frame um and put up indoors there's a little old boat going across look at this old thing look at that little old wooden boat but how lovely is this all this bridge i wish i'd bought a wide lens out with me actually but i haven't i've only bought the yashica mac 1 and 24g that i put in the car you've got all these boats moored along here on the thames over there you've got um river barges as well we'll go over there and have a little look in a moment but look at this lovely bridge i can't get a long shot of that bridge because wherever i go over here i've got these bloody boats in my way so like this one and this one in fact i might be able to get a shot that looks quite nice there let's see if i can get that on film so i've got no light meter with me i'm just trusting the Yashika's light meter, which is pretty mustard, it works quite well. F11, 160th of a second. That'd be alright. I'll try and get over these boats, that's the only thing. Ah. Oh. Do I want anyone walking across the bridge? Not really, I'll be here for a month for Sundays. In fact, there's someone walking across the bridge. Let's see if I can get that person walking across. I don't want any cars. That lady walking across there. Get me composition. Bosh, done. In fact, I should have waited till she went past the tree. Never mind. Let's see what else we can find in Henley upon Thames. You can see the church up there. I could get a shot of the church, but it doesn't float my boat churches. There's enough churches around where I live. Um, I'm looking for something different than that. Ah, now that could be a shot. See this old building here? You can just see the church steeple in the background. I'll come down this alleyway. I wonder if that could work. Let's take a shot and see if it does. I like that up there, this old uh, Georgian looking house with that lamp. Uh, I don't think it'll work. It's too dark and too bright. You see? Nah, I don't. I don't know. That side don't look too bad. I'm gonna get that shot there. And everywhere you look, I'm just walking up the main high street here, and everywhere you look, there's just all these old buildings. I could spend ages here taking photographs and getting detail of all these old brickwork, the old windows. You know, I just don't make stuff like that anymore. Um, I've got hundreds of negatives of old buildings and one day someone will find them and go, bloody hell, that's old. The only thing that spoils it is modern wiring. Like the shot I just took there had um, a cable I noticed on it. But, oh wow, it's an old Ferrari, look at that. But yeah, modern wiring kind of just spoils it a little bit, you know, satellite dishes, telephone wiring, and stuff like that. Look at this old Ferrari. <laughs> what a car, eh? That's a bit flash, isn't it? <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to get that shot. Look at this. This old here thing, look. This, this little lamp here, that's probably, that's probably well old. And the, and the fascia of the doorway there. 
and the windows, original windows, brickwork, the lot. I can get that shot without any of wiring and stuff, it might look nice. I guess you're wondering why I didn't take a photograph of that Ferrari. Well, that's not the plan, so I'm not going to waste a shot on that Ferrari. I've got plenty of old classic cars, uh, prints of it indoors, so no point in uh, uh, doing that. Let's go and find those um, uh, river barges on the Thames, see what I can get over there. So there's the church there I was talking about. I'm just walking back, but you know, they're two of penny churches, as lovely as they are. I've got plenty of church photographs, unless I was doing postcards for, for Henley in black and white which probably wouldn't sell. It's like this here, this old paving and these, these um, iron railings here. I'd make a nice photograph, but I need something, some sort of subject, maybe a pigeon or something in the shot. Otherwise it just doesn't, it's a waste of a shot, I feel. And if there was something here in the foreground without the cars, obviously, might make a nice shot, I don't know. And I'm going to be doing a vlog soon, uh, walking from Whitechapel in London, East London, uh, to Bethnal Green. There's some landmarks and some old buildings and some old pubs that I want to take photographs of. Um, so that'll be coming up, up and coming um, on the channel soon, guys. Uh, I walk from Whitechapel, the east end of London, walking up through um, Spitalfields over to Bethnal Green, see what we can get. There's a river barge working on the boat, look. I'm on the bridge. There's a river barge working on the water. It's too late for me to put the GoPro down and take a shot. So now I'm coming up to the other side of the bridge. I don't know if there's a shot here to be taken of the bridge. No. Yeah, no, nah. that's yeah, not going to do much. I'll take the shot anyway. It's quite nice, but this is the River Thames here. And at the moment, I'm trespassing on private property, apparently. I'm sure they won't mind me taking a picture. Walking along here, you've got to mind all this goose, geese, poop. There's tons of it. Look at the geese poo. It's full of geese shit. <laughs> oh, blimey. So these are the river barges here. People live on these and, well, just have holidays on them maybe. Some people live on them full time. They just go up and down the Thames or through canals, through estuaries, through tributaries. Just have a jolly old good time. I bet it's a great life. Imagine getting a dark room in one of these. Imagine that, little dark room in there, little red light on. Imagine living on one of those having a dark room in, in there, a little red light on coming up at the window at night. People will think you're open for business. <laughs> Maybe not such a good idea. You have to have blackout blinds, that's a good idea. Of course you would. These are pretty cool, these old river barges. I'm get a picture of one of these, look. All the rope on the top there. Uh, not as interesting as I'd hoped. Pretty cool though. So I just took that one with the church in the background. Um, this ain't very picturesque, I don't think. Let's move on. Now call me weird, I don't know why I like this little scene here, if I can get the cars out, these leaves, the leaves and that little post sitting there on its own. Let's get the camera down low, see if it works. I 
See, again, that would be a nice shot, that arch with the, uh, the pub name on it, Angel. But you've got that alarm system in, up there as well, which just, it'll make the photograph look a bit naff. You know, you won't... So it just kind of ruins it for me, really. What else have we got? This old pub. Uh, that does nothing for me. Let's have a look. Come around the back of the pub. Well, beer cans or beer kegs. That's about it, really. That's a nice shot there. Oh, I like that. The beer kegs and that sign. See if I can get that. That might look nice. The lighting's good. Look at this old building. I can't find a photograph, funny enough, but look how old that is. All this old flint stone on it. All this old flint, look. So that was me running around Henley on Thames trying to get some photographs to take home with me. And as you can see, I did. There was a couple of portraits that I did. Some guy that I saw in a hotel near a window. I just liked the way that uh, the window was lighting him. I just told him to look out, took the shot. And there was another guy um, in the street. He was sitting there just underneath this arch. And I said, uh, do you mind if I take your photographs? He said, no, he was sitting there rolling, uh, rolling some cigarettes up. So I just took his photograph on the Yashika mat and then uh, said thank you and carried on walking. But I enjoyed my little time walking around that, exploring that little town for the short time that I was there. And it's all right, there's loads of pubs there. I can imagine that place uh, can come alive at night. And it was a Thursday afternoon. What do you expect? Most towns are boring at that time. But what a lovely little place that was, Henley on Thames. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe it's given you a little bit of inspiration for your own photography if you're finding a little bit of a slump at the moment, or maybe you're, you're critiquing yourself or beating yourself up over stuff. Just remember, there's a lot of stuff out there that is so simple, that is enjoyable to view, especially when it's framed up on a wall in a hotel. I'll catch you next time.